be yo my dears it is mira it is shira it is vira it is scorpion red tarot and i am here for september 2020 show me the money energy did you guys miss me i hope you guys enjoyed the august reading i am back i am back i am back we got a brand new spread of some new decks out here. We're going to be finding out what's going on in just life and love in general for September. Thank you guys for every last one of you guys who have clicked this video. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, liked, and shared, and subscribed to any of one of my videos. If you guys would like to book a personal private reading, only thing you got to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page and send me a message on Instagram and we'll get it cracking. If you do not have Instagram, um, I do my video readings on Google Hangouts. Only thing we need to do is exchange um, email. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So just download Google Hangouts, send me the information, and we can get everything popping. You hear me? So let's see what we got. Of course, we always want to give praises and thanks to the Creator before we do anything. So, Father God, I thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. We thank you so much for keeping us blessed and keeping us moving forward ahead towards all of the freedom and the prosperity that we've been reaching for in our life, Father God. Please continue to allow us to enjoy our summer um, throughout these changes with COVID and everything like that. Um, I just appreciate every single movement that you've been helping us make in our life and every single mountain that you have moved every single hurdle that we have uh climbed over father god um, we want to continue to triumph more throughout this season we have a lot more time to go in 2020 so we're going to triumph but we're going to pull out the best that we can so we just appreciate you for being in our life father god please give us guidance and life of love for my scorpios for september 2020 show me your money energy Thank you. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's get into this. All right. So I'm going to face the cards down. This is a new thing that I've been doing, you guys. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right. I hope everyone has been making positive like business and love connections. Um, there's been a lot of positive change going on, you guys. A lot of people have been going back to work. A lot of people have been meeting new people. It's been a lot of positive energy going on. So I hope that you guys are thoroughly experiencing and enjoying and just being open to change right now. Like... It is so difficult for Scorpios to just be open to change and new things. Sometimes we are very fixed. We like things to we like to have some sense of normalcy. We don't, we don't like surprises. Um, but sometimes life can bring us a lot of pleasant surprises, Scorpio, and we just need to be open to every single thing. So and as y'all can see, I got my little dirty nails uh, <laughs> deck out today. So let's see what energy we pull out of this. Because I always get some amazing, very intricate stories with this deck. So I'm very interested to see what we got here. Because I was dying for this love, this love. And I was dying for your love, your love. So baby, tell me what you want to do. Okay. I have never seen this door before. So this is one of the doors that we have for today's reading for September. And it says, trust the universe. It says, intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing is not yours. But the universe is at play. Have faith and breathe. trust the universe right now all right scorpio we trust in the universe what's the next door 11 11 it says numbers and doubles synchronicities in two don't hold back your love now life is meant for you pass this card on mm. trust the universe in 11 11 frequencies numbers is doubles 
in two. A lot of blessings may come to you guys in twos. Trust the universe. Hmm. Have faith and breathe. You guys, we have to operate on blind faith right now. I have been doing that myself because it's been a lot of things that I normally wouldn't do, but I've just been I've just been trying to remind myself to just be open to all new experiences, you know, like if you keep doing the same thing the same way you always do it, you're going to keep getting the same results. And if you want something different, you got to change. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what we got here. We got release. We got the release in the reverse. Even though I really don't like reading these cards in the reverse. But you guys could have already released something. And it's like. You're looking forward to moving on. You see this girl, she has this red hair. I'm just getting this sultry vixen. You're like fiery. You're passionate. You're open to love. I want to say that you guys have moved forward past this release. And right now you are learning to trust the universe. And I love this golden door. It is so rich and luxurious. So there might be a lot of like fancy, rich, like, experiences and luxuriousness going on you around you right now things may be coming in twos so you may be getting blessings in twos around this time and you see this is like an ancient wood like so you may be getting something new and something old all at the same time so this could be something that was like an old blessing that you were trying to manifest something that you've been praying 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 on for a while now could have been well into last year this could have been something old that you forgot about but we have been working hard about this release it is hard for scorpios to release shit y'all y'all already know it is hard for us to let shit go sometimes when we say we are faithful and loyal we mean it and sometimes even the shit that we don't need to be faithful it's hard and we might just be in a point right now where We've let something go to the point where we don't even remember it. And now that's why us trusting the universe, even though it made it took us, it took some time. It took some time. But I feel like you're about to get a blessing of something old that you may have forgot about because it took so long for us to release. And you're going to get a blessing of something new that you've been recently manifesting. What is this? This is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So, yes, you've definitely gone through a big transformation and all of the hard the hard work, the pain, the misery, the struggle, the strife, the having to look over your back, worrying about what people are saying about you, thinking about people that double-crossed you, how things weren't fair. That shit is over. It's over and it's done. And I think that that's what they're telling me. It's, that was the hardest thing for Scorpio to release. It's just the thought of everything that happened. I don't feel like you were living in it anymore. It wasn't like you were still holding on to it to the point where you were physically living in that existence. But mentally you were living in that existence. And it was hard for you to let that go and release it so that... It was that you were holding on it mentally to the point where you were possibly about to allow yourself to be stripped. Look at this card. Stripped bare of everything that you were and that you are to become something damaged. Something that can only think of the horrors and the pains and the hurts from the past. Where they're no longer living in the present. The present is only a reflection of every hurt that they've experienced. This is the Ten of Swords in the upright. In the reverse, you're like, I'm not going to allow this situation or anything to damage me to the point where I don't even recognize my own self in the mirror. That shit is over. It's like you guys came to a point where you just like, even you guys going through like, a financial a financial struggle constantly worrying about something just like you're learning how to keep your faculties in place and to have control over it you know what I understand I don't want to think about this no more I don't want to stress about this no more so it's like finally being able to come at peace with a situation so it doesn't define who you are in the inside it was just a season it ain't the whole book. You understand? Like some people, they get stuck on keep reliving, 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 and rereading the chapter. And they forget that the whole purpose is to read the whole fucking book, not just one chapter. You still got fucking ten chapters to go. Why are you only stuck on the third one? You know? So, 
we got to keep living. We got to release. And it seems like the worst is over now. The worst is over. What is this? This is the devil. Uh, like this motherfucker thought that he knew what was best for you. And I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 because Scorpios, we can be obsessive. We can have a very addictive um, lifestyle pattern like me. Excuse me. <coughs> Let me take a quick um, sip of some water. Excuse me. I feel like that motherfucker trying to choke me. Shit, hold on. Mm -mm. Me, I could be obsessive and compulsive because if it's something that I'm really really into I can obsess about it that's how I get really good about certain things like say if I wanted to learn how to play the guitar me learning how to play the guitar could become an obsession towards the point where I'm like a female Jimi Hendrix on a guitar because I sat there and I obsessed about learning this thing day in and day out where it was like I wouldn't stop until I got satisfied with where I, you know, with my progression with it. Like, that's why there are a lot of successful scorpions, but there's a lot of scorpions that they let their obsessions and their passions and their needs for, for whatever it is that they're seeking to get in their way. Like, Scorpios can have, like, power addictions they can have drug addictions they can have attention addictions like sometimes even i'm speaking for me myself and i'm being 100 like me when i am in love with someone i love constant attention you know what i'm saying and it's like when i don't get it i can get upset sometimes you know what i'm saying and that could you know that could trigger this you see what i'm saying so it's like you guys had to focus and release something that your shadow felt like was best for you, if that makes any sense. So that can say, like, I love gold, right? I love gold. But, and I have money, and I can spend my money, and I can buy as much gold as I want to, but at the end of the day, gold is not going to help me pay my bills right now. Gold is not going to help if someone's sick, like, it's like, you, you know what I'm saying, you could like something, but you can't like it to the point where you're so compulsive that you spend all your resources on it, and you wasn't focused on nothing else, you understand what I'm saying, because the gold, your love for gold, and your greed for gold can be your downfall, so it's like realizing, like, I love this thing, or it's something that I want, but I have to control my need and my desire and my want for this because it is controlling me in a negative way you understand so in regards to how the devil had you confined and you trapped and you bound to him and the negative shadow energy within yourself is because of the negative thinking he had you trapped in a point where you were constantly dwelling 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 on the past and he knew as long as he could put a trigger in front of you you would never release yourself from those moments from those thoughts you know and you have finally released that and I realized that it's it takes a long time for us to realize that we can be our own worst enemy sometimes and it's literally having to learn to control your thoughts and not allow things to trigger you because he will put certain persons places and things in front of you that will trigger you that's just like me all right um, I was minding my business the other day and I seen someone post a picture of an ex of mine that is blocked on Facebook. And I'm like, this motherfucker blocked. Like, why is this motherfucker on my timeline? However, maybe in the past that shit would have triggered me. I don't give a fuck about that shit no more. Like, that shit no longer holds me captive. You can't wave that picture in front of my face and act like I'm going to cry or I'm going to crumble or I'm going to give a fuck. Like, I'm so happy in my life. I have a way better man living way better experiences right now in my life. Like, I don't care. Like, you cannot victimize me by that anymore. Do you understand? It's not something that you can... I've released it. I've been released it. You know what I'm saying? Those days are over. I don't even think about it no more. Those those tch, those bullets can't even penetrate my skin anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So what is this? This is the Five of Cups. And this is like, this is to the side. Yeah, this is in the reverse. As you can see, the star is in the reverse. This is the Five of Cups in the reverse. So like a starfish is, don't, don't starfish like, they be stuck on the side of like fish tanks and shit like that or whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like starfish and I feel like it has like those little suction cuppy things or whatever. The five of cups is someone that is in a place of lack. Someone that's in a place of grieving. Someone that is so focused on what they don't have or what they missed or what someone took from them that they're not even focused on their future as like I told you the ten of swords is in the reverse those days are over the five of cups is in the reverse you allowed those experiences to prove to you just how important you are just how beautiful you are just how much of a star you are just how creative you are just how much you have to look forward into the future what is the point of dwelling in the past you know what I'm saying when it's creating nothing but misery and that's what this person wants me to do and it's like I spit in his face every time that I wave those five cups in the air and I wave it like I just don't care because the shit that you took from me and you spilled over and you knocked that shit over I went in I didn't even want those cups no more I went to um what's those um it's like um, those really expensive cups and stuff, the, the, the plate where it sets, like it could be a Versace plate where it set that you put in a china cabinet. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, girl, you had me drink, uh, drinking out red Dixie cup, out of red Dixie sanitation cup. Motherfucker, I don't even drink out of them cheap ass cups no more. I drink out of fucking Chanel and goddamn Versace plateware. You know what I'm saying? And I filled up all five of my cups, baby. So like it's like I'm not tripping off of none of that shit in the in the past. I don't even drink out of that cheap ass glass no more. Y'all don't drink out of cheap shit no more. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's like your level of value is all the way up here. Like they can't even trigger you or by trying to bring you down to their level at all because it's like I don't even look down there that's not my experiences no more the nine of wands so the nine of wands could be a, a situation where it's like I'm standing my ground on something I'm throwing this ass back I'm giving niggas heart attack you know I feel like you're standing up for what you believe in you're standing up for your growth you're showing people just how strong you are like maybe in the past like you were very submissive and you were lazy in the bed and things like that nowadays it's like nah nigga this not no i know how to get myself off i know how to do like if you don't know how to fuck me right to do me good i know how to do it myself just lay back and let me throw this pussy back you know what i'm saying it's just like you a boy it's like there's something about a level of strength especially after you release and you realize like what you were doing to yourself on a mental level, an emotional level. Like you had to mentally and emotionally let something go and release it in order for you to be in this place of strength and of power. So what is this card right here? This is the journey. I'm recording. So this is the journey card. So it looks like you guys are standing your ground. You're pressing forward. You're moving ahead. You guys may be going in a new direction. You guys may be moving. You may be dating someone that's foreign. Or you may be moving to some new foreign paces. Or you may just like be going on a vacation. You may be going on a vacation. Like, I just heard standing up for what I own. It's like I'm standing up for what I own. And she's enjoying herself. Look at her face. She's enjoying herself. Do you see her? I feel like she's enjoying her confidence. She's enjoying her power. You got two tens right here. So there was two major changes and two major moments of completion and satisfaction in her life. I feel like she enjoys her confidence now that she finally released and let go of this. And I feel like even with this devil being here, um, I feel like... She feels very sexual. She feels very passionate. She is like, you know, I feel like I, I her increased enticement. Like, so like this woman could be uh, very sensual and a seductress right now. She may be like standing in her power, standing her ground, like standing up. Do you know what I'm saying? Like putting her head up, putting her chin up, like, um, I feel like she could be embracing her sexuality, embracing her sexuality. She could be very, very sexual right now. Um, <laughs> I just heard sex, slave. It's like she, 
Um, I feel like this woman has moved, has moved past whatever this place of lack. Because there was once a place of lack in this five of cups. There was a place of her feeling like someone turned her, their back on her. I feel like she's just now getting her in her power and she's standing up in her power. And I feel like if it's something that she wants, she's going to go get it. So like if she sees a man at the bus station or whatever and he's looking attractive, you know, like my cousin said, she'd be walking up to dudes be like, hey, go ahead and put your, you know, your number in my phone. You know what I'm saying? Being bold, like standing up for what you want. Like I'm not, I'm not backing down. Like that's the night of wanting someone not backing down. Someone standing up. Like no, uh, uh. Go ahead, put your number in my phone. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like on some real boss ass shit. I feel like whatever you were in the past, you're not that way no more. You released that rigid, that timidness. Like not being assertive and going after what you want you're going after what you want and you're throwing that ass back and you throwing it in the circle baby and you just listen you moving in a new direction you are totally focused on the future all that shit in the past is passe you know what i'm saying and if anything positive you got out of it i feel like you are taking more control of your sexuality and who you are on a sexual level and your confidence what is this unexpected income so there's unexpected blessings coming in i feel like especially due to like this covid situation like you guys might have stepped up on a hustle and things like that and i'm going to keep it 100 with this devil card right here maybe in your sexuality and shit like that maybe you do got a couple of sex slaves you got a couple people that sexually you are dating and they'll do anything for you. You know what I'm saying? And you're glad that you released all of that shit in the past. And you're moving in a new direction. Like, people may be taking care of you right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like unexpected. Like, I didn't think that me stepping up sexually and confidently. You know what I'm saying? After I finally released that old pain, now I have this new confidence. Like... I can sit back and be taken care of for once in a life. Like, everything comes in twos. Like I said, you may be dating two different people right now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe someone old. Maybe someone new. You got to trust the universe. You understand what I'm saying? Like, things are just unexpectedly coming to you now that you're not focused on old issues anymore. That you've moved past these old issues. That you're standing strong. You're standing tall. You know? What is this here? Oh, you got the wheel of fortune, honey. Oh, Lord, look, look. Ain't, ain't that a woman getting pleasured by two different individuals? Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all. Yo, bitch, that's three. What the fuck going on? God damn, what is going on, girl? This is the wheel of fortune right here, y'all. Like, a lot of good things are coming into y'all life. A lot of things are going upstream. Like, you could very much so have... A few different people that would love to pay to play, and I'm not. And I'm not saying this on no prostitution. I'm talking about like dating or something like that. Like these people may be seeing you right now in a trance, like with someone else, and they be maybe standing on the on the sidelines waiting for their turn for this person to fuck up so they can get with you. It's like they're trying to get on this wheel of fortune or whatever. I feel like I don't know if people if you have a represent. If you have a reputation of, have, of being a good lover or something like that. But I feel like there's a few people that want to draw. Like this per this woman is a freak. Like she is like they're doing the 69. She looks like she's sticking her hand in his butt. Like. <laughs> y'all. Do y'all see these cards? Is she not sticking her finger in his butt? Oh my God, girl. Y'all could be out here turning people out. I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing, Scorpio. But this is a very busy card. And I want to say that there's a lot of people looking at you. I don't feel like you're actually having sex with all of these people. But I feel like these people definitely look and desire you in a sexual way. And they're definitely waiting their turn. Like, it's like, oh, I wish I, I wish... I could be the one that could spin on Scorpio. Like, you might be posting pictures on Instagram and this, this, and that. And motherfuckers be like, shit, I'll take you out. I'll do this. Shit, if that motherfucker ain't going to do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. And it's like, shit, I wasn't expecting all this shit. I wasn't expecting all these people to want to date me and stuff. And it's because you have released that shit. You're not letting that shit control you. And if anything, you bossed up on your sexuality and shit like that. And you became, you, you, you become in control of yourself. Shit. What is this? 
This is the two of pentacles. Listen, you have listen again to everything is coming into you guys. You are going to have two different lovers. I'm trying to tell you two people of high value that you are going to have to make choices with. I feel like one is an exceptionally good lover and one is a financially good provider. Let me call it in Jesus. Come on. Shalala. Shout out to the fucking law. Listen, one is an exceptionally good lover. And it could be your earth sign, you guys. Oh, my goodness. What do we have out here, you guys? I just see earth and wands. And swords have to do with your mental state. So we're not even going to do that. So you guys can have, like... Trust the universe. Because I definitely feel like you guys are going to have to make a choice. And y'all forgive me, because I was combing my hair before I... Uh, did this reading. What is this here? Mature woman. You have grown and you've matured very gracefully. You're moving forward. You're going on a journey. You have an unexpected income. You a boss. You understand? You're standing up for yourself. You're going for what you want. Like the wheel of fortune. The universe is on your side. Like only thing that I, I don't even take this devil card as a negative card. To me, I look at that as the devil had control of you at one point in time because you were you weren't releasing what you needed to release. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil card can really represent sexuality and your desire for intimacy. And it looks like you can have a few people under your control and your back and call and your whim right now. Because you are just sexually exuding a power right now because you have matured. You have manifest many things like luck is on your side. You're trusting the universe. What is this last card? The two of cups. Here go another goddamn two. This is soulmate energy. And like I told you, baby, look at you riding on top, bitch. Look, you see how this nigga trying to throw this dick back at you, bitch? I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what changed in you, but something has changed in you. And now you guys have... Like, really embrace your sexuality. But I gotta go, Scorpio. I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. Peace.